I look for three things when we are forecasting severe weather. Usually a front to provide your lift and then also moisture because you need moisture for rain. We've got that in the form of Gulf moisture. And then what I have up for you right here are the temperatures. The warmer the temperatures are typically the more potential energy that we have in the atmosphere. And we certainly have that upper 70s, lower 80s, abnormally warm for this time of the year. As a matter of fact, some of our locations have already seen record highs be set. So we'll wait for that full report a little later on this evening, but let's get you back to the moisture. Dew points are in the 70s, which means the Gulf is wide open. We are getting plenty of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and we'll continue to see that wind speeds anywhere from about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we have that wind energy and you'll notice the change in direction because we do have a boundary to our west that's currently moving towards Rockwall and Kaufman counties. And because of all this wind energy, we will start to see the lift and that might provide enough spin in the atmosphere to produce a tornado or two, which we do have a tornado watch in effect until six o'clock for all the outline counties, which does include everywhere from Van Zant over to Wood and Titus County off to the northwest. But Tyler and Longview, you guys are not in a tornado watch that could change a little later on tonight. However, we do have a little bit of rain in Tyler. I'll show you the radar picture here in just a little bit, but we are socked in with clouds and rain and there you go. Live Viper radar showing a few showers and thunderstorms. Nothing nearly as powerful here as what we are seeing out to the west with this line of showers and storms that has ramped up. But I will be watching these individual cells for any signs of rotation. And if we do see signs of rotation, the National Weather Service may issue a tornado warning. But quite a bit of rain over Hopkins and Franklin County. A little bit of lightning. Not really seeing any rotation. There may be some broad ro rotation near Oak. Oakdale, but we'll continue to monitor that. But further to the south and to the southwest over Upshur County, some lightning strikes, very heavy rain over Winsboro, and then further southwest, we've got even more rain. We talked about the rain in Tyler. This is not severe or anything, and I don't expect these storms to be severe that are moving from northern Cherokee County into southern Smith County. So here's future cast. We're going to pause this in a couple of hours. This is six o'clock. There's the location of the line. The showers and thunder Thunderstorms will move from northwest to southeast and we'll continue to see this line become better organized. But one thing I will be watching out for is if anything does get going in front of the line. If we do have those individual discrete supercell thunderstorms, those are the ones that have the highest probability of producing a tornado. This model not really showing that that would be good news for us. But along the line of storms, we would have a threat of damage damaging wind gusts. So you can see at midnight it ranges from Mount Pleasant through Tyler through Palestine and Anderson County there. And then this pushes further off to the east by six o'clock tomorrow morning. It's in a weakening phase because those temperatures will fall tonight and these storms eventually will move further and further off to the south and to the southeast. We'll be left with some lingering rain through tomorrow afternoon. But if you still have to go vote, I do think you're going to have a break in the conditions tomorrow afternoon, so I'm not super concerned about your election day weather and then the rain and eventually the clouds will slide off to the south and to the southeast. Let's talk about the individual threats of severe weather. Damaging wind gusts, that's at a medium. The tornado threats at a medium. Flash floodings at a medium. I did increase the uh, flash flood threat a little bit because this line of showers and thunderstorms will be pretty slow moving through and slow moving complexes of storms that typically typically leads to the training of showers and thunderstorms, which increases the flood threat. So we'll keep an eye on that. 62 tonight, high temperature at about 67 tomorrow with the best chance of rain in the morning, and it remains active over the next several days. Temperatures will be in the 70s, some scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday, Friday and Saturday it will be dry and a bit cooler through next week with highs only in the 70s. And as we look at deep east Texas, rain chances, as I mentioned before, through about Saturday, and then it does look to dry out a little bit Sunday and Monday. For the latest weather forecast, you can always.